In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to perform manual actions on an input in ProWatch. These actions will include masking and unmasking the input. We will click on Hardware Configuration. We'll go down to the Site, and then go down to the Monitorable Inputs folder. In this case, we wish to mask the hallway motion sensor. We right-click on it, go down to Actions, and as you can see, you have a mask, unmask, and timed mask. They are all very similar in use. I'll show you the timed mask first. It shows you the description of the logical device. We're going to do all devices. In this case, there's only one below here. And then over here, you set the minutes that you wish it to be masked. You can also type the minutes in for an extended period of time. You would then fill in your card number and your action notes. What we're going to do is the other type of mask, but it behaves the exact same way. So we'll go back to Actions, and we're going to go into Mask. The difference between Mask and Timed Mask is the Timed Mask will automatically unmask itself when the timer expires. The mask has to be manually unmasked. So as you see, we do not have a time period over here. We're just going to mask it, and it's going to stay masked until it's unmasked or re-enabled. So we would enter in our card number of the user that's making this, and you would put in your action notes. It should be descriptive of why it was actually masked. In this case, we're going to mask it for an after hours event. You click OK, and the input is now masked. We can verify this by going over to the toggle events. As you can see here, it tells us that the mask hallway motion event occurred. If I activate that input, you see no change, no events. Now once the event is over, we'll go into hardware configuration again, go back to our input, right click, go back down to actions, and this time we're going to choose unmask. Again, it asks us for our card number and a description. In this case, we're going to say the event has ended, resuming normal. Click OK to save. Now the mask is off and the input should be working correctly. Go back over to toggle events. And as you can see, now it says arm the alarm point. So now it is active. So when I push it, you can now see that it did go into alarm and return to normal as is expected. For more videos, please visit https colon slash slash honeywelldiscoverytraining.com. Thank you.